Hi there, this is Chan New. Welcome to the Chan channel. Welcome back to a lot of you. It's a travel vlog for a change. Yeah, I'm not going to just blab, but I'm going to show you guys around as well. So as you can see, I'm all set and ready. Right now, the time is 8 a.m. The flight is at 12:20. We're heading to Shirdi. I'm going with my mom's family. So it's going to be my grandparents, my mama, his family. And uh, yeah, we're like nine of us going and you'll see my cute little cousin uh, Mahadev on the vlog for the first time. So it's fun um, and we're traveling with them after a really long time. Today is 20th of February 2021 and we're coming back on the 22nd of February. I'm going to take you guys along. Come on. Finally, the security check-in has been done. We have checked in and right now staying at the gate. And we have a very special guest with us today. That is Maha. Say hi. You can say hi, man. Hi. 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 Cutie. And we have someone more special. Who oh, is yes. Hi, how are you feeling? Light after a really long time? Jammu. So we are heading to Shirdi. So we are heading to Shirdi. And it's a pleasure to travel along with all my family members. My daughter. And granddaughters. And my grandson. Yay! Who will it's all of us. Nine of us. We have such an opportunity to travel actually. I like with all these people actually to see today. Yay! <laughs> and we have another special guest today. That is my grandma, Machi. Take it. Take it. So how are you feeling, Achi? Nice. Where are we going? Shirdi. Shirdi. Hello. Who are you? Some other be. Who do you want me to be? My best friend. So sugarcane basically is really famous here. We just stopped here for a while. So this is the mechanism that they use to get the sugarcane juice. So this is how the process is done. Mm. Mechanism! Now we are heading to the hotel. Also the situation here in um, Maharashtra is not so good. See the second wave of coronavirus and it is said that uh, next week will be a lockdown. The kind of times that we are living in guys. 
I keep you guys updated. So tomorrow morning we have to wake up early early. I have to get up at like 5 I think. Just gonna go get freshen up and uh, sleep. See you again tomorrow. So it is day 2 in Shirdi and we are going out for the darshan now. Here we cannot carry our phones. We just have to carry our ID cards and yeah that's about it. After the darshan we go there, do everything and then we come back probably eat. And then the idea is to go to Trambakeshwar, which is, I don't know, a three hour journey from here. I don't know how many kilometers exactly. That's the plan for today. So let's see how that goes. Hi guys, don't judge me. Look at how I'm looking, but it's freaking hot and I cannot tolerate that. That's why this is how I look right now. I know I look funny, but it's still me guys, it's still me. We had just had not so good Andhra meals. I couldn't vlog till now because no phone was allowed and I couldn't show you. But the Trimakeshwar temple is so, so, so beautiful. It's so beautifully carved. And now after the meals we just had here, this is my water bottle. I always have water bottle with me because I want to stay hydrated. So do you. So today we went to the Shirdi temple and we went to Trimakeshwar, which is about two and a half hours from Shirdi. Heading back to the hotel. So see you guys then. Hey there! This is day 3 in Shirdi. Good morning. Uh, woke up really late today because we have a flight at what say 4 o'clock. So we have a lot of time left. Woke up to a call saying that Shirdi might close down. It's February and I guess it's like been 365 days that this has started happening. But yeah, it's happening again in 2021. I don't know what this is. Is this really happening or what is happening to the world? Maharashtra is on the verge of another statewide lockdown. Hi there guys. So it is finally time to say goodbye to Shirdi and end the vlog. I think I'll talk some more in the airport. I just wanted to talk about something. I'm back in Bangalore. Uh, I'm back home. A lot of things starting up tomorrow. And I don't know I'm vlogging this, but I don't know when it's going to go up. This is my biggest concern nowadays. I have to edit these videos on time. So this week, I'm going to concentrate on these stuff also. And uh, yeah, a lot of work to be done. Anyway, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about is spirituality. More than God, I, I won't say that I don't believe in God because growing up, I've always believed in God. Right now, it's just the shift has just changed to the su supreme power, you know. The, like there is so much happening and so miraculously that of course there's something spiritual around this. I, I don't know a lot about Sai Baba, but of course I went to Shirdi and then I, I have this habit, of course. So I, when I go, I have curiosity of what really you know, made the person who he is. He took the Samadhi in 1918, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I just read about it, so I think it's correct. But uh, he took Samadhi in 1918, so it's like, what, about 100 years ago? So I feel, I mean, um, someone who can, who can do that and who can change the way the world thinks. There's so much speculation about if he was a Hindu or a Muslim, but he never associated himself with any kind of religion. I just wanted to put this out there and uh, appreciate how secular this is. I don't know if it's very controversial, but I just feel it's very nice that, you know, uh, a god, a godly figure can be prayed by all religions, if not all, but the major, you know, the religions who actually fight all the time Hindus and Muslims they come together somewhere so I think that's wonderful moving on I also wanted to talk about Trimakeshwar Trimakeshwar is amazing uh, as a structure you know the structure of Trimakeshwar is so beautiful and I didn't read a lot about Trimakeshwar actually but uh, it's a Shiva temple and of course the architecture is so beautiful mm, Shani Shingapur was also really nice positive vibes one thing I forgot to mention in the vlog before about Shani Shingapur is uh, this amazing story the legend says that Shani that is uh, the planet Saturn uh, it's one of the Hindu deities. So Shani had come in his dreams to the villagers asking for shelter. And in turn, uh, he, he promised to give them protection against anything. So the entire village of Shingapur does not have doors or locks. I mean, they, nobody locks the doors because they feel that the Shani, uh, the Lord Shani is there to protect. I mean, wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. Even BPC had published about it. So if you 
could google it you can i'll just link down the article below which i read about and also one of the guides told us about this whole thing so i was like really fascinated i mean the kind of things that india has is wonderful i am just so glad that i'm born here and have the opportunity and privilege to see these places and tell you guys about it so yeah that's how i'm gonna end my vlog today that's about it guys um have a great week whenever you watch it and uh, believe in spirituality because it just gives you the right kind of vibrations uh, recently i started you know inclining myself more towards spirituality which is great read books about spirituality read whatever you can i mean if you believe in god do it do read about it or listen to all these songs that because the songs and the chants that we do actually have vibrations plays a certain impact in our uh, body it's a travel come a daily vlog kind of a thing because I don't know what I did. The main thing is I couldn't show you the temples because of course no cameras or phones are allowed inside. But other than that, I hope I could give you all the information possible. So stay safe and uh, stay spiritual. Please uh, take a moment to like this video if you really enjoyed it and uh, share with the people you think who will enjoy. And of course, subscribe to my channel. So see you guys in the next vlog. Until then, bye-bye.